Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to Divine Timing Tarot here at Inyo Element TV. Today, the deck that I'll be using is Chris and the Light Seers Tarot, one of my favorite. And uh, just in case you wanted to check it out, it's beautiful. I will be working with you today with relationships. So claiming your power in relationships. So let's see what the cards have in store for you. But before we do that, please like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. Relationships are something that are so important in our lives because we have a relationship with everything. But let's see what the cards talk about. What kind of relationships are we going to talk about or if it's something just general. I'm going to shuffle the cards and get the first card, so bear with me. First card for relationships, let's see what comes out. Wow, amazing, family. That's it's all about, having it all. The Four of Wands is a card of family, is when you are actually very happy within your family nucleus, where you have, you know, the best relationship, it's your foundation. It's what makes you go out there to have the best job or to perform your best at your job, to go out there and face the world. Your biggest foundation here is family. So the message here is to treasure it and to nurture it and to put your focus on it this week because the energy, it's all about family. But let's see what are the other cards and how they resonate with this one. So we put it aside here and I'll shuffle for the second card. Okay, second card, and let's see which one is. Oh wow, the Eight of Cups. It's actually one of my favorite cards in this deck. It's such a beautiful card because although it's a card that is telling you to turn your back on your past, and this is Cups. Cups is also relationships. It's about love. So it's actually telling you to turn your back on what is still burning, but it's asking you to go towards your dreams, something bigger and brighter. So it doesn't mean that you're having a loss or you leaving anything behind, any relationship behind. No, 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 it's just telling you that that relationship has been nurtured and is now burning and is staying there. And what you're gonna do is now you're gonna go to expand yourself, grow and look for something bigger and better. How does that connect with the card before? Well, sometimes we have to leave home. Sometimes you have to turn your back on your family, which is not really a turning back, it's more uh, leaving a nurturing home of your parents or uh, sometimes a family home, doesn't matter which one it is, a friends, friends that you lived and shared a home together for a long time, but you need to sometimes leave to go and find something bigger, better, more uh, different adventures, things that will make you grow and shine your light even better. But hopefully to come back to them um, bigger and better, like they say. So claim your power on this, and that's what the Divine Tarot uh, reading is about today. So let's do the third card. And here we go. Oh, Ace of Cups. Amazing. So this um, energy in relationships has been really supported by the Cups deck which is the relationships and love so ace of cups here you go brand new beginning in relationships brand new beginning in love even maybe finding your you know ideal partner divine partner so when you put this all together this is amazing because it might be that you are leaving your parents home or something significant or symbolic like that to go and look for your happiness and you might find a divine partner who knows so if it resonates with you, leave a comment in our box so we know uh, your story and you can share and we would like to know how it's resonating. But in the meantime, please, you know, if you decide to follow the cards, bear in mind that they don't tell you what to do. They are just energies here that are available right now for you to take and make empowered decisions should you choose. So in the meantime, you can follow us at any of our social media platforms and we would love to hear from you if you have any suggestions or conscious ideas. But I just saw the last card that I'm going to add to the deck is the lovers. 
So this reading has been really amazing. So please let us know if you have found your divine partner because it feels like the reading, it's all about that. But for now, see you in the vortex. Goodbye.